Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here. So I really want to talk about the EW article and specifically the part where it talks about the Rick and Michonne television show because there's a, there's a lot of excitement there. There's a lot of stuff here that I'm just really honestly like, it's cool that we can just talk about this being a reality because I mean, it was only like not, not even like three months, I mean, literally three months ago, it was what, June 8th? I mean, at least at the time of recording this, I guess this video is coming out tomorrow, so it, it would have been June 9th. And like, we were still wondering on whether or not we were going to be getting any like Rick movie news, right? Like there was sort of this belief in the air that the Rick movie stuff was, was like, maybe we'd get some news when the show ended maybe it would be comic-con but if it wouldn't be then maybe it would be the next year like we had to get something very soon because obviously people are really dying to find some more stuff here they've been really quiet for so long and now it just just like that i mean you know we're able to talk about the show existing like and not even that honestly i think the most exciting part about it is like we can talk about the, the show existing within the context of, of the actual story we still have to build to that obviously with these next eight episodes here but i mean once the once the walking dead over here and especially gearing up for those last couple of the last episodes here we're going to be wondering how this connects to the rick and michonne television show right so there's a lot of excitement here anyways before we go any further make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get more walking to content like this the show is returning in i think 23 days i'm getting my days all mixed up right now but i'm pretty sure it's 23 days at the time this video is released so that's what three weeks and two days so super soon if you want to get all my walking to content all my reviews trailer breakdowns and whenever news comes out like this then definitely hit subscribe now before we get into the rick and, and michonne thing i actually wanted to focus on one part here there's been a lot of talk about like oh there's too many spin-offs this and that regarding the walking dead well i actually like what uh what, what is said here by amc and the amc president says that we spend a lot of time focusing on how much is the right amount the last couple of years we've had 16 episodes of the walking dead 16 episodes of fear the walking dead 10 episodes of the walking dead world beyond that's 42 episodes of television. That's a lot. And we used to talk about this a lot too, because we used to say, yeah, it's a lot of Walking Dead content. Like there's 52 weeks in the year. We're getting like 42 weeks here of Walking Dead content. So what, there's going to be 10 weeks where there's like a break or whatever. Like that just, that like, seems kind of insane, but we got through it. I mean, maybe you can argue there was too much Walking Dead content. I don't know. I thought it was fine, but he does say here that under the new plan and their new direction here with the Walking Dead, basically going forward. And especially in 2023, Going forward, the Rick and Michonne show is six episodes. The Daryl Dixon show is going to be six episodes. The Maggie and Negan show is going to be six episodes. We have Tales of the Walking Dead. So you're actually going to see fewer hours of the Walking Dead content on our platforms. And so if you look at that right there, I mean, I guess technically he didn't account for the fact that Fear the Walking Dead was going to be there. Because Fear the Walking Dead is still, still on unless the show after season eight is, is over. I think that's also very possible. I mean, it, it depends on what they want to do with those characters there, right? Because with those characters, it's kind of, some characters are really great and awesome, and some characters I do think are sort of, I, I think, getting a little stale here. So I think, I really think Fear the Walking Dead could come to an end after season eight, but it really depends. I mean, I guess if you look at this here, he's saying that there's four shows, basically all four of them have six episodes each. So that's what, 24 episodes. Fear the Walking Dead is going to have 16 episodes which I guess means that that's going to be, what, what is that? In total, it's 40 episodes. So that's like only two hours less technically. So it's not really a lot, but that's why I think Fear the Walking Dead's release is going to be a little different. Like, I, I feel like maybe they won't even go with 16 episodes. They'll do like 10 or something like that. I, I really do think Fear the Walking Dead is likely coming to an end very soon just because there's so much stuff here. And honestly, you can bring a lot of those characters onto the, onto the other shows and stuff. And I think that'd be a lot more fun. And I, I think that's going to be the overall plan in the end. But yeah, I mean, I guess ignoring Fear the Walking Dead, I'm not sure why he never included it in here. I don't know if he, if he didn't think of it. But if you look at the Rick and Michonne show, the Daryl Dixon show, the Maggie and Negan show, and Tales of the Walking Dead, you know, that's six episodes for each show. That's, uh, that's 24 episodes in total throughout the year, which I think is definitely enough. I think that that's, uh, you know, you could always up it in the future, but I think that's definitely enough. And also this almost kind of confirms this quote right here almost confirms that Tales of the Walking Dead is going to be getting a season two, right? Like if he's talking about stuff that's coming out in 2023, 
that almost seems like confirmation right there. So, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming right now that we're likely going to be getting that. Now, to get into some of the Rick and Michonne stuff here, um, I mean, it is interesting. There's actually a quote here, and that's what I mean by this stuff is so confusing, but, like, we obviously do have confirmation by a lot of people and a lot of sources, and it's also, I mean, it's kind of weird when you're looking at it, like, some people are saying this about it, and then some other people are saying this. So it, it definitely is a little confusing, but McDermott, who I guess is the president at AMC, actually says that it became clear the best most epic story we could tell would be a multi-episode six hour long epic love story about these two rediscovering themselves reconnecting and setting off to reclaim their family and then in brackets here it actually says though mcdermott's description makes the spinoff sound like a single season limited series amc is not billing the show as a mere one and done and that's what i mean so like when you read something like that it's also a little a little confusing because you're like, is it a one and done thing? But then again, a lot of people have came out and confirmed that it is not. That there's going to be multiple seasons. But when you do, when you see quotes like this, it's also it's just kind of hard because, I mean, he's saying like it became clear the best, most epic story we could tell would be a multi episode six hour long epic love story about these two characters rediscovering themselves. That part there, it's like, I mean, I, I guess the first season likely is going to be you know, them rediscovering themselves and then obviously finding each other, right? Like, that makes the most sense that that's what it's going to be. Uh, the ending here says reconnecting and setting off to reclaim their family. So, I mean, reconnecting, obviously, we knew that was going to happen. Um, setting off to reclaim their family. I mean, maybe that's where the season ends. But again, there's going to be some sort of reunion of sorts. There's going to be some other stuff we have to see. And like, unless this Rick and Michonne television show is going to be a limited series, like six episode thing. But in the future, there's going to be a, a show that combines all the characters. It's kind of hard to say. But again, you look at what EW said, you look at what all of them are saying. It's kind of like, I mean, again, in brackets here, it says like his description makes it seem like it's going to be a single season limited series. But AMC's not billing the show as a mere one and done. So I think maybe it's just sort of what he's saying. Maybe that's not the actual plan, because, again, a lot of people can just sort of say whatever and then people run with certain quotes, this and that. Sometimes people can just kind of say the wrong thing or say whatever. And I mean, when you're actually looking at what he's saying here, it makes the most sense. Like it's six hours long, an hour each episode, and it's going to be focusing on these characters trying to find each other. Right now, there's just one part of the article here, which is actually focused on Greg Nicotero. And, you know, part of the article says that, you know, he's been working with Andrew Lincoln from the very beginning of the original series. And he thought it was really important that they bring the character back just because the character is sort of the character that started it all. And he says, I think it's critical because Rick Grimes really is the Walking Dead, says the director. It was his story. We started the story with him. So it made me realize that the Walking Dead involved into a lot of different things, a lot of them very entertaining and all of them very powerful and very emotional. But... The Rick Grimes of it really stands on its own, and I'm really excited about where that's headed. That I really couldn't agree more with. I, I really do believe that Rick Grimes is the show. And, like, obviously a lot of us sort of believe that. Like, like I, I remember when he left the show, you know, I believed that it almost made the show better. And I still stand by that based off of where, where the show was in Season 9, because something did get better after he left. And obviously going into the, the rest of Season 9 with the Whisperer arc... But I think it became clear after many, many more seasons and stuff like that, getting into season 11, that there was this whole thing about Rick that I think a lot of us missed. And there's something about Andrew Lincoln and his presence on the show and in this universe that a lot of us really connect to. And I think back then, maybe we were, we were sort of exhausted of the character because it was he was just always there, right? We never knew a walking dead without him. And so when he was first gone... And we focused on this new exciting story because they jumped forward in time six years and they focused on the whispers. That was really cool. The whisper of Pike scene. We saw snow. You know, there was a lot of really exciting stuff there. They focused on some really great characters that I think we, we were just sort of, you know, taking a step back from that. It was it was all right. And then I think, you know, going into season 11, especially going into season 11 it became pretty apparent that, like, it is missing him. Like, everything else is kind of exciting and it's fun to watch it, but we need him around. We need his presence around to make the story really feel authentic and really feel like it's it's The Walking Dead because, again, Rick Grimes is The Walking Dead. And I'm not saying that, you know, in the future, you can do stuff that's not Rick Grimes related with The Walking Dead. You could do a Walking Dead, you know, next generation show where you focus on Judith and RJ. Maybe it's set 20, 30 years into the future. And that's totally fine. You can do that. But I just think at that point, the fans, I, I think at that point in the overall universe, you sort of have to say to the fans that the Rick Graham story 
is over. A lot of these character stories are over. And The Walking Dead, this version of it is over. Take a break, let let the fans sort of breathe, and then the fans like, who do want to come back and watch this, well, they'll come back and watch. Maybe you'll get newer fans, right? Again, I think you should take a break there, because that's sort of the thing with Star Trek Next Generation. I mean, like, obviously that show came out way after the, wa- or not Walking Dead, way after the original series was over, and, like, there were some fans from the older series who liked it, and then there was a bunch of newer people who were watching that, right? And those fans say that that show was way better than what they actually got in the original series, and I can't believe people really saying that with The Walking Dead if they want to do a Walking Dead Next Generation type show, you know, saying that that show's better than The Walking Dead, but it's gonna, it would be a new generation talking about it. So it's, it's for this current story here of The Walking Dead, for, for what, the, like, you know, the story that we're on, the path we're on, this is Rick Rams' story. And I think the last couple of years, I think they were fun. I think that they, we explored some of the other characters, but now I think it's time to actually go back to Rick. And that's what's kind of exciting, you know. When The Walking Dead ends in like a couple of months, and I guess in, in two months from now, two and a half months, the, the the Rick Grimes, you know, led Walking Dead is coming back. And it's, it's you know, the, the second The Walking Dead is over, the second literally that episode ends, the very last episode, Rick Grimes officially becomes the lead of, of the universe again, which is really cool, really exciting. And I, I can't wait for that. The last part here of the interview I actually didn't talk about already, but you know that they ask uh, Kang and Gimple, like, could we see Rick and Michonne before then, like before the spinoff? And then Angel Kang just says, I can't answer that question, but I appreciate you for asking. And then Gimple just kind of smiles. And then he just says, I'd never tell you that in a million years. <laughs> and um, who knows what that means, right? Like, I, I mean, I guess technically it doesn't necessarily have to mean that they would be returning on The Walking Dead. Maybe they show up in one of the spinoffs. Maybe in the Daryl spinoff, we see Rick or Michonne. I guess with the Daryl spinoff, if anything, that would probably be the most possible, right? I could see that actually playing out. But it is also kind of hard to say, too, because the thing is, Norman Reedus has been pretty adamant on the fact that he he will be working with Melissa McBride. There's going to be some more Carol stories. I mean, Melissa McBride even hinted at it the other day. So, like, you know, that's obviously not happening in season one. So probably season two, right? So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see where this goes. Uh, But, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Definitely post our thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.